Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're due for a random run. Remember the days when I would do a random run, get Isaac, and say, well, with Isaac, every run is a random run. Oh man, I would love to do that again. And again, we, you know, we've had Kane a couple times in a row, so it's hard for me to complain. But, uh, well, like a couple of random runs in a row. But seriously, Eve, Samson, Blue Baby, give me some more, uh, some more Maggie runs. Give me your, your Maggie, Kane, and Judas runs. Uh, like, the, the Samson Eve runs are just starting to grate on me a little bit. But it's fine. Samson's not so, so bad in my own personal power rankings. I know not a lot of people agree with that. A lot of people consider Samson to be the worst character in the game. Bar none, like, without, without any debate required. Um, and they have good reasons. They have wiki-based reasons. Which I do not. Uh, we'll take our bomb bag. We don't have a choice. I gotta get out of that habit of being like, Yeah, I'll allow the game to give this to me. It's a freaking uh, re-roll this situation. What can we do? Nothing. Uh, well, we'll get that money, of course. I... Uh, well, the shop's not probably gonna be too viable on this floor without any bombs at all. And uh, very little money. We'll see if we can't swing something, though. If nothing else, bomb bag is... A-OK. -okay. That is how I would describe it. It's an item that helps us out long term. Judgment is an item that is like a time release fucking, you know, inheritance or something. If we can actually get enough money to make judgment pay out on a deal with the devil, or in a curse room, that would be amazing. We might as well backtrack to our other room up here before we leave. I'm assuming that it's going to be one of the self-sacrifice rooms, but we'll see. And of course, as uh, Samson, I welcome a lot of different attributes, but H... Oh, that is actually excellent. Yeah, okay. Well, I wish I'd gone this way first, obviously, but it probably only cost me a couple of cents, effectively. Not even directly cost me, more of like an opportunity cost type thing. Anyway, um, yeah, HP, probably the most important, if I could possibly get it. We got some uh, bombs there, which means we can actually access that tinted rock. I would love to get the small rock, but, you know, I would also love to get spirit hearts. I would love to get keys. There's many different things that I would very much, uh, you know, aspire to receive here. So, let's see. Two spirit hearts is lovely. Gives us a pretty good chance of a deal with the devil on the next floor. No, I'm not gonna break all those poops up there and, you know, use our last remaining bomb to try that. Um, very much not worth it, I think. Thankfully, uh, Monstro did give me two enemies here that I actually uh, could build a slight amount of rage off of. I mean, we're not gonna be... Blow oh my god, that was a great hit. We're not going to be blowing his doors off or anything here. Um, which is good because, you know, I haven't had that conversation with him yet. Uh, but I'm hoping that uh, this speeds up the fight a little bit. You know, getting that rage at the start helps out a great deal. We've taken some damage, but it's not like we're worried about getting a deal with the devil on this floor anyway. And... I can't re-roll anything, so I was just thinking, like, what do I... What would I re-roll on this boss fight? Would I re-roll Pageant Boy now that I have Counterfeit Penny? Well... We'd at least be happier to get P Counterfeit Penny than normal as a result of the fact that we have, uh, you know, what we have. And we got a nickel, which is a nickel. Um, Rusted Key is not very good. We got a second Judgment card? Bad trip. So, I mean, I feel like I have to use one Judgment card now. This probably won't work out, huh? It worked out, and it gave us stem cells. That is fucking crazy good luck. And we still have a judgment with all the money that we had previously that we can take with us here. That is nuts. Um, yeah, I would not have expected that to work out in in such a, a good way. Now, you, there's probably some people out there saying, yeah, but, well, stem cells is a, you know, a shot speed upgrade, so, you know, you shouldn't have taken it. Are you fucking crazy? You know, you gotta be high off your own farts to think I'm not gonna take an HP upgrade on the first floor as Samson. And you may very well be book right, but, uh... You know, for me, personally, I gotta do what's right by me. And having more HP is definitely right by me in this situation. Okay, careful. We found the room where we want to be. The miter, such a beautiful item. We might as well try to get a little bit more money, because this is where we're going to try to do this uh, FADC fucking judgment play here. I know I use FADC completely wrong, and considering Evo is going on at the time of this recording, that's a cardinal sin. I apologize. Now, Famine is a very easy enemy to beat, very easy boss to beat uh, without getting hit. So let's try to make that happen as much as is humanly possible. What's the trick, uh, especially as Samson? Well, get him to summon flies and then get him to kill them, and I get the, rain, uh, the rage benefits. So we'll just stand over here, summon some flies. Yes, please. There's one right there, there's another one right there, and then we'll just try to get him to uh, kill them, or we'll kill them ourselves, and that works totally fine as well. 
And he's going to kill another two here by accident, probably. Yeah. All right. Now he's going to be in uh, permanent, you know, headless state or bodiless state, I suppose. Which is even better. Much easier to dodge. It's like fighting a stationary greed. Now. Good. Deal with the devil. We knew we were going to get a cube of meat. Don't be a demon judgment, please. Good. Regular old judgment. Just classic meat and potato style judgment. Work with me here. What do you got? Because the item you give me could change whether or not I want to pick up one of these items. Yeah, it did. Sorry to give you mom's knife two runs in a row, but this is a good play. Now we don't have to lose any HP to take any of those other items. We're Samson with mom's knife, and all of a sudden things are looking relatively comfortable once again. Mind you, um, you know, mom's knife by itself is not a winner, but it's pretty fucking close. Uh, and I'm excited by this. And if you are the kind of person who gets offended by mom's knife usage, I do apologize. Sincerely, this is not like, oh, fuck you. This is like a backhanded apology. I, I can understand why. But hopefully you can also understand why uh, I can't not take it. Uh, it. It would be not suicide, maybe, but perhaps a, a terrible decision. But we found our second secret room, which was part of the master plan here. But I also wanted to get this tinted rock and the money. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna roll with this, and uh, again, my apologies if it's not up your alley. And hopefully in Rebirth, uh, the, you know, there's more synergy with Mom's Knife, so that when you pick it up, not all runs end up feeling, you know, so much similar. But, until then, I'm gonna keep this up. What do we got going on over here? Curse Room? I can afford to go to it in my eyes. Ooh, that was pretty close. We'll lose uh, a full Spirit Heart, but we might gain something even more valuable. The gift of life itself. I am not going to sacrifice more spirit hearts, though. We do have the miter, but, you know, better safe than sorry here. Let's instead just use a bomb. Head on in here. There's no way we're buying the ladder, um, even though we do have enough money now, thanks to Counterfeit Penny. We'll save our money and use it for a shop on the next floor, because we do have enough keys. Anyway, this floor was very good to me. Mom's knife from that judgment. And that might be the best one-two punch from judgments we've, like, ever had, ever. We do still need some more HP for me to feel super confident in this run. And we actually ended up not lucking out in that situation. Um, we have an XL floor, which means the shop here is not guaranteed to be greedless, which uh, was what I was hoping for. That being said, it could be greedless, and we'll, you know, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So, we'll see. Seems like my range is, is terrible. I'm not sure if that's a tears thing, or if that's a, a range thing with Mom's Knife. But yeah, our, our charge is slow. Uh, or it, it's, it takes a long time for us to charge up a shot to a good effective range here. Okay, this is like a really nice kind of corridor for ourselves here. See, that probably should have hit in my opinion. There we go. Um, we have the keys, so let's open them up. Anarchist cookbook. Absolutely god-awful. Wow. Very lucky. Thank you, Mitre. Uh, we might be able to use this effectively, but I doubt it. In here we have teleport, which... Might be okay, but I don't even know if it's worth fighting for. It is worth fighting for because we have Anarchist Cookbook. And at least if we have Mom's Knife, we can do something funny with Teleport. Which can't give us the I Am Error room I oftentimes neglect to mention. So, I'll, I'll do this. And I guess the thing with Teleport is that we can just immediately teleport out of the way. But I actually want to farm this room, uh, see if we can get some consumables out of it. Out of it, I should say. I wonder if you could kill, like, half the enemies, and then, um, you know, just walk back in. And, oh, you wouldn't gain anything by doing that, because you wouldn't gain any consumables, unless you fought champions. But that is, like, a super niche gain. Alright, we got a bomb out of it. Okie dokie, let's do some teleporting, shall we? You never know where, um, where you're gonna go. You never shine if you don't glow, and, you know, all that jazz. It's a big floor, but we found our bosses right away, which I'm actually very, very happy about. We're gonna do a lot of exploring afterwards, but... We found a blood bank. Uh, you know, better to find that as early as possible so you can make the best possible use of it. Gertie's not going to be too much of a problem for me. And we could get another deal with the devil on this floor, but we're going to need some more HP if that's going to be uh, at all viable. And that's Jesus Juice, which we'll take. I'm, I'm happy to stack up damage with Mom's Knife as much as we possibly can, but... Uh, and uh, little chat, unfortunately. Will we take little Chad? No, because the the miter actually we have it for once. It's not a theory crafting thing. The miter will actually get worse. Uh, and no deal with the devil either. That's super unfortunate. So we'll teleport around here. There we go. We teleported to the secret room by accident. That's very positive. I don't know how I let myself take damage there. That's my bad. 
And at least backtracking is a little bit more fun when you have the teleport, right? Uh, well, it is like a two bomb for one bomb situation. We have homing bombs now. I'm not sure if I mentioned that uh, appropriately, but we do indeed. Let's see what we got going on up here. A uh, golden chest. I don't really want to open a golden chest when we only have two keys right now. Sometimes you can find the second secret room doing that, but I guess there's no uh, possible location for it here. Uh, okay, we'll probably use a bomb. Oh man, an arcade as well. But let's go to the shop first. Please don't be greed. It's not greed. It's the ladder again? I didn't even think that would be possible. Now it's okay. Not thrilled about it, but it's fine. Um, again, I could gamble a little bit here, but I'm probably not going to. I just sort of don't see the point, actually. But we'll gamble on the blood bank as much as we can. Which is not technically gambling, it's more of like a, a health thing. You know, it's the only kind of gambling that can be good for your health. Or exceptionally bad for it, admittedly. Plenty of keys, but still, um, you know, not quite an opening golden chest territory, in my opinion. And we're looking for some more red hearts, if possible. And maybe a shop that doesn't contain a ladder for once. I'll know, I know that that's uh, impossible, so I don't want to put you in a truly difficult place here. I will take that pill. How did we get so many bombs? Like, just kind of stack them up here. I mean, I know we got five of them uh, from the homing bombs, but still. Oh, we have bomb bag. I totally should have completely remembered that. Uh, yes, we will trade a bomb for a key. This floor is shaping up nicely so far, I think. Come on, work with me here. Because if you give me the blood bag, then I can play the other blood bank and have a much better chance of getting the blood bag there, too. Oh, we've already been up here, clearly. Maybe we should just get the ladder at this point. I mean, it's cheap-ish. Why? Okay. I actually got mad in my brain there for a second. I walked into the fire thinking it was the ladder. What the fuck were you thinking? I was like, maybe I'll get the ladder. Okay, walk into the fire? Sure. Like, where did that mix-up happen in there? That is absurd. Um, well, I apologize to myself for that. I'm not going to apologize to you because I'm the one who ate shit on it. Now, we're getting a little low on health because I'm taking dumb damage. So, we need to we need to cool our jets here. I don't know why I'm sticking with that 90s slang out of all the possible ones, but it's okay. Well, we teleported to the room we were going to go to anyway. I guess as far as teleportations go, that one's pretty good. Or, you know, not so bad. And we have a little bit more stuff to do over here. I mean, the, what's the benefit of uh, teleporting? Save a key, ride a cowboy, you know, get yourself into secret rooms uh, without having to waste anything. It's not that good, but... It's better than Anarchist Cookbook, which will probably end up hurting me. Even though there's homing bombs. Okie dokie. Yeah, no, by buying the ladder, I could have saved myself a lot of heartache, like, using bombs to get keys. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. So we're gonna farm the rest of these rooms, because of course we are. And hopefully we'll gain some good stuff. I'm not gonna teleport as much, because I know exactly where I want to go. And I really want to make this floor work from an HP standpoint, because that's the only thing that can stop us right now. We have very, very low HP. For a run of this, like, caliber. Oh, well, this is awesome. I'm glad we came over here. Judgment, you've been historically been amazing for me so far. Don't let me down now. Even just a single HP upgrade would go a long way. Book of Revelations is uh, amazing. Thank you very much. That's uh, so much better than what I was actually asking for. So that's going to really help out our spirit hearts here. Book of Revelations, Mom's Knife, is pretty much... Uh, it's. I, I hesitate to say it's a guaranteed win, but it's really, really good, especially if we can stack up items from uh, the shops, which is looking increasingly rare, but... Come on, like, there we go. And shoot, shoot, shoot. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're gonna, obviously, now especially, we have even more impetus to go to all these rooms. But we are still low on HP. But Tinted Rocks, right? There they are. Uh, we got a golden chest, unfortunately. It gave us an HP upgrade, fortunately. I'm going through all sorts of emotions here. Pretty soon there won't be any space bar items left in the game. We've already gotten so many. Okay. Okay. I, I again, I keep oscillating. I'm incredibly displeased with myself, but also somewhat happy. We have a uh, golden chest up here, which now I feel much better about opening. And uh, sure, we have lots of keys and a little bit of HP. So now the moment of truth. Do I go hard on this blood bank? Yes, because I believe it will pay out. I really do. I could use the speed, honestly. That's part of the reason I'm getting hit is, you know, admittedly my own fault, but 
I'm being a little dumb about my speed right now. With the Miter, uh, I think it would be stupid to not gamble a little bit now, given our HP conditions. I know I talked down about gambling uh, in the arcade a little earlier, but it's potentially going to save my life, so um, pretty easy for me to change my tune. And who knows, maybe we can get a trinket that's a little bit more meaningful for us now than uh, Counterfeit Penny is. Or we can get Crystal Ball, which is basically a better version of Book of Revelations. This is so weird. Uh, I don't want to use Two of Hearts in this situation, obviously. I mean, it's not necessarily a better version of Book of Revelations, because we can get our cube of meat one way, but this saves us from having to buy the map or the compass, which seems, like, super beneficial for me. Please work with me here, by the way. Or the otherwise, I'll just explode you. You know, you got... Uh, thank you for the keys, by the way, but you got until 40 cents to pay out with some red hearts, or you're getting exploded. So, prepare thyself for that. I can wait. You know, I'll still be here next episode. Some, some of us in the room right now won't be. Oh, you had your chance and you fucked it up. This is the one right here. Oh, you're lucky. You're very lucky. Quite handsome, too. Oh, nothing there. Okay. More red hearts. You've earned yourself a little bit more play. 35 cents now, I'd say. But, uh, yeah. We're, we're gonna leave after that. So it looks like we won't be playing our blood banks as much as I hoped, unfortunately. And if you're wondering why I haven't, like didn't wait to get more half hearts and then use two of hearts and play the blood banks it's because I uh, I want to save two of hearts maybe for my own survival Maybe we can earn fly love here yeah okay so there is that uh, I think we end up blowing this up and then we use the hearts that we get which, which are none on the other blood bank so we don't use any hearts in that blood bank weird floor a uh, good floor but again we ended up replacing uh, some space bar items lots of space bar items and we're not going to be playing our blood bank very much, if at all. So let's head down to the next floor, which I really hope is not Necropolis, and we're good to go. Yeah. See you later, little Chad. It is the depths. It means deal with the devil. Could be in the cards for us here. Don't ever bring that damage up to me ever again. Um, yeah, it means there could be a uh, deal with the devil in the cards for us, because we're not on an XL floor. Ah, fly love. I forgot about you. Okay, so this tinted rock could be very valuable. Thank you, that's extremely important. And it's looking very good right now, I'll admit. Uh, I've been playing up the drama a little bit. Not falsely playing up the drama, just mentioning the, that the fact that we have low HP could be a, a real stick in the mud, you know? If I'm gonna use continually 1950s dialogue here. There's our item room. We have Fly Love though, so yeah. And chocolate milk. Every run, man. I don't know what it is. Ed bribed Spider to give uh, my specific version of Spider Mod like a 100% chocolate milk generation chance. Which, I appreciate, you know, it makes me feel special, but um, at the same time, it's just... It's just not quite worth it. Um, so now we can see everything, and we actually got a tarot card. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune kind of sucks. It, it can be used, but Two of Hearts, I'd say, is better. Long term. And short term. So. Monstro 2. Even Fast Monstro 2, by himself, is uh, not a problem in the least. Deal with the Angel and a range upgrade. Alright, well, well, we'll pick up the range upgrade because we have no choice. And our deal with the Angel is going to be Scapular. It's nice. I'm happy to have it. And, yeah. Careful. Just keep moving here. We found our secret room. We might as well go to it. Inside of it, we find uh, Greed, which means that our shop is actually going to be good on this floor. Which is very, very nice. Not good, necessarily, but not infested with Greed, which is great. Money situation is fine. I don't mind using a bomb to avoid a little backtracking, so let's do that. And I'll probably go to our curse room as well. Oh, never mind. You can't bomb your way out of a mini-boss room. Um, yeah, I don't mind uh, going to the curse room as well. It'll cost us a spirit heart, but the potential upswing is way better. I, at some point, would love to get an HP upgrade from a boss. I seem to recall a long distant time when, um, you know, you would fight a boss and it would give you, like, dog food or something. And you'd be like, oh, this is some HP. I can use this to get stronger and, you know, maybe have a better chance of beating the game. But that time has long since passed, unfortunately. Uh, so, thank you. Fly Love makes that room pretty inconsequential. We have enough bombs that I would definitely advise, you know, looking for the second secret room. I'm advising myself. Well, if, if not me, who's the best advisor, right? The best advisor to myself. What do we have? Eh, we'll open it. 
enough spirit hearts that I feel great about uh, even having to fight this room. Absolutely. Two spirit hearts is lovely. I mean, we need to stack them up, right? That's pretty much uh, our, our only chance at redemption here. Well, not our only chance at redemption. That, that's playing up the drama falsely. We're in a, a totally winnable position. Eas not difficultly, I should say. Not easily, but we could save half a spirit heart by using our chariot card, but it's the kind of thing that, you know, I just don't care about that much. I wish I did. I do, but I don't. That's not our second secret room. There's a lot of possible second secret room locations, so, uh, you know, buckle in. Unfortunately. Uh, and I, I don't want to use all of our bombs to make this happen, but I do really desperately want an HP upgrade if possible, so we'll take a look. Truth be told, there's not too, too many more now that we've taken th three of them out of the situation already, but... And we could find it against our curse room, potentially, but unlikely. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll finish this floor off. It was a good floor, more or less. Still a little salty about the lack of HP, but apart from that, pretty good. Two pills, and <clears throat> they're telepills, which means now, uh, if I want to pick up that two of hearts card, I have to lose some more HP, which sucks pretty bad. Lose a spirit heart and a half to get a two hearts card. It is worth it. I think it's worth it at least. Maybe. Uh, so another possible second secret room. Okie dokie. Uh, another possible second secret room. Well, I am going to sacrifice one more spirit heart to get our card back. Just because I think it could end up saving my life. Possibly. It also did end up costing us uh, several spirit hearts, but let's let bygones be bygones, shall we? Depths Part 1 went fairly well. Scapular, not my favorite item in the game. Range upgrade, probably not the most useful of all upgrades right now. Second secret room. Yeah, okay. And nothing is forgiven. That was like six bombs for basically no reason. Allow me to rehydrate. It's a hot day right now. I wasn't actually um, drinking water, by the way. It had, it had turned into steam by the time I drank it. In any case, I'm going to keep on moving here. Just give me a second. Okay. Hopefully, we will be able to uh, get something worthwhile here. We got a library. Is it worth visiting? Honestly, I don't think so. Why do I think it's not worth visiting? We've already had Book of Revelations. I don't want Book of Belial. We need Crystal Ball to keep us alive here. Um, yeah, let's just keep moving for now. I'd rather save the key and open even a shitty golden chest. I think will pay out more than your average blood bag. Or not blood bag, more than your average uh, library at this point. The Hermit. We, we, we will pop that right away. I'm so glad that we got this and we didn't have to end up... Uh, Fighting greed in the shop, and we actually gain something of worth out of one of our shops. Now we have map plus compass, so that makes, truthfully, it does make crystal ball a little bit less worth less worthwhile. But I'm still glad we took it instead of book of revelations for the extra card benefits. Oh man, okay, mini mush is sweet as well. I'm I'm very happy to have that. Let's quickly come into our curse room, and it's going to cost us a spirit heart, but you got to check. I think you got to check at least. Now we've got to go back and get our second. Uh, or not a second, our um, two of hearts. It's almost like a second thing, if you think about it. We'll definitely pick up this spirit hearts. And I'm feeling very good about the way that this run is going. Not just on a mom's knife level, which is, of course, you know, the norm. Mom's knife isn't the norm, although sometimes it does feel like it. We went through a pretty long period of not getting mom's knife at all, or when it showed up, it was on the chest. So, I, like, the, the run was already usually over one way or the other. Um, like, it was either too little too late, or it was, well, you know... We, we, thanks for showing up, you know, Johnny come lately. Bit of a bandwagon follower there. What do we have in here? I'll open this, yeah, no problem. Single bomb. I don't know, like, every golden chest that we've opened uh, lately... In, in the mob trap room has been like this. Anyway. Keep this up. It's always had, like, some kind of negative associated with it. Like, it's been, you open it up, and it's like, hey! You know, it's that yogurt scene from The Simpsons. Like, it's got potassium benzoates. You know, the, the deal better than I do. So I'm not going to quote it improperly. Let's just keep moving on for now. We're, we're actually surprisingly close to the end of this run, even though it might not look like it just yet. Would have loved to have get Nun's Habit as well. Or 9-Volt. Uh, but, you know, instead we got two shops with the ladder in them. 
And we're basically getting... Oh, that's really good. Possibly a good reason to use my Two of Hearts card on the Blood Bank here. Um, because I can use the Judgment card on a potential deal with the Devil later. Yeah, that that's pretty possibly amazing. Uh, so I'm going to start just by going as, as low as we can possibly go here. Because with Scapular, can I not just... Uh, like, if I play it this like this, and then go, huh? Huh? No, I thought Scapular would give me a Spirit Heart there. Maybe I'm an idiot. I did have the... Yeah, I did have it once, but let's move along here. Um, okay, break you. Break you. Careful. We will come back for that. Because I, I at least want to use my Two of Hearts card to do something. Maybe we won't come back for it. Fuck it, let's just move on. I know we could gamble a little bit more, but I'm... Let's just gamble all of it by going for broke right now. All right, so Mom's Knife is going to be a, a pretty easy uh, game-winning item here. For now. For this level of the game. You gotta beat Mom's Heart, which we just did. Cat of Nine Tails? Like, are you seriously going to play me like this? I, that's not language I normally use. It's pretty strong. Uh, but I, I just can't believe that we can't snag, like, a single bit of HP. Mind you, you know, the game's been very good to us. Mom's Knife, you know basically for free, or at least didn't cost us any HP from a judgment, is awesome. But things are going terribly, terribly wrong now. We also got the Miter, Crystal Ball, Hierophant card. Like, these are all working out very nicely. And part of the problem is that I'm taking dumb damage. But also, can I get, like, a single HP upgrade from a boss? Would that be so much to ask? Or, you know, have Crystal Ball actually pay out with a Spirit Heart instead of a Tarot card for once? Even though this Tarot card is actually, like, pretty good, I bank, I'm, I'm banking on Spirit Hearts from Crystal Ball. That's the reason I took it instead of Book of Revelations, primarily, is that usually has the same effect, but with also the added effect of the map and compass benefit. Okay, Joker card is interesting. Let's put it that way. I'll probably end up using it right now. Yeah, okay, so Guardian Angel's lovely. Um, and it helps us out a lot. The reason I said we use it right now is because I was thinking, like, we can't use the Joker card and take Judgment with us, of course. So, when do I use the Joker card if not now? Well, I could use it later. I could use it on the Cathedral if we live that long, or I could use it on the chest if we live that long, but what's the point? Uh, I figured we might as well use it now, and we still have a pretty good chance to get into a deal with the Angel, um, you know, just by virtue of our own success on this floor. I would say we have a pretty good shot, at least, as long as we don't take damage against the boss. Anyway, that's my logic there. And we have Guardian Angel, which backs us up here and uh, probably makes it a little bit less likely that'll take damage, although a lot of that's on me. And this tarot card is the Magician, which is terrible, so we'll just get it uh, out of the equation. Let's see who we're fighting here. Uh, it's going to be Super Lust. We did get Mini Mush, so we have the speed necessary to get away here. And we might be able to snag Poison Touch here. Oh, we got Yum Heart, uh, which is not very good. But it does at least take me a little bit higher on the HP standpoint. So let's see what we got in here. And we might as well, in my opinion, we might as well go through all of these rooms because we can get more crystal ball charges and uh, we're pretty strong relative to the enemies that we're facing. It's mostly just my own, uh, you know, impotence that's stopping us here. And then we can use crystal ball pretty immediately on the next floor as well. So demon judgment, interesting. We at least got to give it a try. Yeah, that worked out amazingly. Demon judgments and judgments have been crazy good for me so far. I hope that doesn't count as uh, red heart damage. I hope it's like a blood bank. So, between Relic and Miter, uh, I'm really glad we didn't pick up Little Chad. So those are both... I don't know if it actually affects both items, but it's both of the items I know it might affect. Adversely. Uh, we don't know what this does. Bombs are key. Yeah, eh, it's okay. Still have seven bombs. It's not so bad. Conquest is a uh, piece of garbage. <laughs> One of my least favorite bosses drastically lowers my chances of getting a deal with the devil because I'll take damage. I already have. Um, but it won't be red heart damage, so we still have a shot. Ah, that hurts. Well, with no other deal with the devil uh, or deal with the angel options coming, we might as well just play judgment here. And truth be told, white pony wouldn't be the worst pickup for us, but we're going to stick with crystal ball. Obviously. What do you got for me, judgment? There we go. Another HP upgrade. This run is like entirely subsisting on judgments right now. I'm thinking, because this is actually one of the very few floors... I forgot I can't fly. Um, it's one of the very few floors this late in the game where I actually am thinking about playing that Blood Bank, getting into that boss trap room, because I have enough Spirit Hearts uh, to back myself up. 
Yeah. And that could end up being very beneficial, actually. So we'll see. Um, first things first. Make our way to this blood bank. And we'll be a little risky. Oh, thank you for finally paying out with spirit hearts. I know I was, you know, I used harsh language with you earlier, Crystal Ball. And I do appreciate the, the tarot cards and the, the playing cards that you can give me, but... At the same time... I picked you for one, you know, demonstrable effect, and you've, you kind of let me down. I would also be totally fine if this thing just pays out for the first time in a hundred years. Blood banks haven't been amazing for me lately. Thank you. So now we'll make our way down to uh, the boss trap room. Probably won't go to the curse room. Might as well go to the library, I guess, but we'll do that on our, our way back once we've already gone through this. And I'm really hoping we snag some HP. But I'll take almost anything because I've already committed to the, the role here a little bit, haven't I? There we go. And uh, I really thought we'd be able to get two birds with one stone there. Can't always get what you want, though. And that's worth it, I think. Might be able to find a second secret room here, so, you know, two birds with one stone again. What do we got? Bad gas. Alright, well, at least we know. It's my go-to line for, like, a, a dubious pill. At least we know not to use it again in the future, not to waste our time with it. Probably won't go to the curse room now. But we will go here, and it's pageant boy. So that's the worst. Um, it, it genuinely is the worst. Almost any other item, except Cat of Nine Tails or the uh, eight ball, I would pick up. But not that. Got an extra key. That's more or less functionally worthless right now. I'm starting to think that we've had a lot of good luck, but I think we might have had just enough bad luck to make this uh, all fall apart in the worst possible way. So, greed. What what can you even give me at this point? You can give me the steam sail. And uh, I was hoping we'd get a spirit heart there. The good news is we are going to stack up spirit hearts like crazy, and that's why I'm actually going to do some more exploration on this floor. We're going to stack up spirit hearts as much as we possibly can. Should... I mean, there's almost no way I take more damage than I end up uh, saving. Just by virtue of the fact that we have so many things that give us spirit hearts. The strength card is... is Pretty okay if we have nothing else, which we do, so we'll use it. Probably uh, against Isaac, if possible, I suppose. It's not like we're going to be ruining any kind of permanent Polaroid invincibility. There we go. Try to keep the mom's knife on Loki as long as possible. Get crystal, like we're getting crystal ball charges, miter possibilities, and uh, the relic has a set payout rate. So we're guaranteeing ourselves spirit hearts here through a number of different channels. Not necessarily spirit hearts, but upgrades through a number of specific channels, but um, still kind of tedious. That's okay. Hopefully we can get our HP back. Okay, Super Gluttony can be a, a very nice get for us here. Is there anything like if you kill Gluttony first and then Super Gluttony last, you have a better chance of getting less than three? Well, we got Lard actually, which is fine. We got Mini Mush earlier, so our speed is totally a-okay. Um, that was well worth the fight, and in fact, if we can get our HP back, then, uh, this is a lot of health. So there's some permanent Polaroid invincibility. Why did we get half our HP back there? Was that a scapular thing? It's weird. And again, I know that we could gamble, but I really, really don't like the idea of spending, you know, what well, was 73 times 5, like, uh, you know, 5 minutes gambling, or 6 minutes or 7 minutes gambling here. Clearly my math skills are, uh, up to snuff right now. Careful. And good. More spirit arts, please. We'll have one more payout, like, right... Oh, no, we won't. We'll have one more payout on the boss. And we got some more there. Ah, uh, wasting two keys there is not so bad, actually. We have enough of them that we can uh, afford to. So we're, we're, we're very much entering into the moment of truth. We have homing bombs, so we're going to use them. Because we'll probably only need to use, like, three or four to make this fight a lot easier on me. And this is the most weirdly, like, crapshooty type run I could possibly imagine, considering I have Mom's Knife, Relic, Miter, and Crystal Ball. Like, you would... Oh, I should have used Judgment there. But you would think that this would be a little easier than it actually is, but... And maybe it is easier than it actually looks, but... I don't know. It's, it's a little bit more cumbersome than I thought it would be. Mostly because we just haven't gotten any HP except from Judgments. Come on. Two Greeds is... Statistically, the most annoying amount of greeds you can get in the game. And that's all you need to know. And one more quick drive-by. There we go. Hoppers, not a problem at this point. 
presumably. Hanged Man. I'm just gonna pop because I hate it. And we'll save our strength card for the Isaac fight. Oh, okay. Well, I should have used the Hanged Man here. Luckily, I didn't end up paying for it. At least not yet. Another key. Very unlikely to be useful. Very, very unlikely to be useful. Each one less likely than the last. Uh, sure, you know. Mom's purse is a little bit too little too late, but... I'm happy to have it, just in case we do manage to come across a trinket at some point. There's nothing wrong with it, certainly. It, you know, we, we spend like four cents that we would never use on anything else to get it. And... Uh, I was really hoping that maybe one shot would be enough to kill Greed. I know we that was foolish, because we fought Greed's recently. Careful. Uh, but, uh... I was really just hoping against all logic that it would work. So we've taken some damage here, but we should gain some spirit hearts as well. At least wipe out some of these enemies before things get too problematic. Oh, that was a hell of a bounce there. Thanks a lot, Rock. Thought you were my friend, Rock. No spirit hearts, huh? Well, it's, it's getting a little scary. The slightest bit. That was lucky, I guess. Good. Still no spirit hearts. There must be a big payout coming then. Like two in a row. No? Okay. It's cool. I'll wait. Wait a second. Come on. Didn't work. Worked. I can't believe that I haven't had a spirit heart payout from Relic and Miter. I'm hoping that we get like two right here. That would help me out. In a, on a confidence level. We got one at least. Alright. Well, I think we pop strength. And then we get ready for uh, this little song and dance type nightmare here. Luckily, we shouldn't have to deal with too many shots coming in. We have two-thirds of a full suite of orbitals. And uh, our damage is great because we have Mom's Knife. So it's one of those runs where we're a little bit better against the late game bosses than we are against um, the enemies that uh, come prior. And that's okay. The streak version three and a half is off to a pretty good start here. I say we, we can always discount one run from a streak. That's why I think you should be able to write one off because statistically, shit's just gonna happen. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Careful. Like the, if the Undertaker wins at WrestleMania next year, you can say, you know, the streak's still alive, sort of. So that's why I called it half. You know, three and a half version of the streak. Uh, I'm gonna take that half heart. Just so we can maybe get even more of a half-heart interval later. That sounds kind of ridiculous, but hopefully you understand what I mean. We can get a higher level uh, half-heart later. Alright, so I picked up a lot of items that I'm not a big fan of. Poison bombs are okay. Not not too disappointed about having, you know, poison homing bombs. Those are alright. And this should do it. But I think we're going to win. And, I mean, that should be pretty obvious, but I don't think it's... Uh, as, as tight as I thought it was going to be. Especially if we don't have to actually fight any enemies to get to the boss. Like, that helps out a lot. Almost poisoned myself there. But that poison bomb might have actually done enough crowd control to make sure that I don't take damage here. No spirit hearts. We can definitely win with this much HP. Uh, we should probably uh, start with famine here, huh? Let's be smart about it. There we go. Now we can fuck war up. Yeah, he doesn't really have a chance in hell, does he? No spirit hearts. Okay, well, we're gonna do this, and, you know, it's it's pretty likely that this is gonna pan out in our favor. It really shouldn't have been a difficult run, and in some ways, I guess it really wasn't, but um, there were some times when I thought that maybe it was getting a little too close for comfort. Mostly just because of the HP situation, but, you know, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. This one's done. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.